stage 19. Do I send the link here? Ah, uh, you could send it in the Discord chat, probably. Who just texted me? It was Amanda. We're playing as a new character. What do you have? Seed shot. Attacks enemies with seed crystals. Deflect. Martial arts combo. Chase attack. A blue after image and you'll be able to launch a counter attack using melee. Oh, she has a dive kick. Seed Blast, Seed Burst. Yeah. Okay, so she's more of a melee. <laughs> this is just Beowulf dive kick. What if I just run through all of this? Oh, I cannot just run through all of it. Eat this. Give him a little taste of the good shit. And then let's do this. Oh, that was so sick. Yeah. 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 What's that? A? It's not that. It's not like that. Whoops. Ah. Uh. I'm literally just running through the level. Come closer as she runs away. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Rodan in Bayo 3 is such a pain in the ass. Honestly, I think it's just better to just te just geez, wow, to just cheese him out, honestly. Oh shit. Alright. Use one of the seeds things. Kill the tyrant. Ah, shoot. After him is dodge. There we go. this game called this is gun grave gore dive kick all right let me why is the skull face doing weird expressions honestly i wish i could tell you it's just part of the game And then let me just do this. 
Yeah, it's just like the HUD display. Yeah, here. Go away. I just dodged all of that. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, watch out. Coming through. Can I blow that up? Nope. All right, and then from here, I should actually kill these things now. All right, I'm gonna wait till they're all like lined up. This should be good. <laughs> this is trying to do the rock raise eyebrow meme. Okay, there we go. Excuse me. Part of me coming through. Ah, shoot. And then from here. Oh, gosh. Two. Is he dead? Okay. I thought I thought for some reason the game was just gonna bug out. That was a very abrupt ending. Hey, it's that guy. I owe you one. Quartz. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Bummer, you'll be stuck with me for a while. Where's Grave? I just tried moving my leg, and my leg just went. No, thank you. A huge org creature collapsed the cave. Delcorp, you rock on, brother man. Is he alright? Is he good? I don't know. I say Delcorp. Oh my God, Del, you rock on, brother man. Not back in one piece, huh? Can't say the same for everyone else in the cave. Am I right? <laughs> Which leg? It was specifically my right leg. But both legs are kind of made of jelly right now. Hold on, I gotta check something real fast. Marco. All right, he sounds good. Uh... I don't know what I want. Let's go with... Bullet damage. Let's go, let's go with that. Oh. You played her for just one segment, I see. Yeah, same with, uh, what was the name, Buji, I think. Here we go, one down. Just jammed one of the Raven's scanners. The best way is straight to the hangars. We'll be able to land, but not see this thing. Gotcha. That's close enough for Grave to sneak into their base and find Big Wuxian. So, so, once you've reached Big Wuxian, you need to force her into her superior form. Once you've killed her, use this tool and take a blood sample. We will follow your movements from here. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if we'll be able to play as her again, though. But it'd be kind of whack if we just had the one section and that was it. Just me. 
No, it isn't. What is up, my home slice? I am going to bring everything inside. It's hot. It's hot. Ah, it wasn't like that this morning. No, it wasn't. Uh, you know what I should do? I should make an Amanda emote so that way when you show up, we can just go, Can we get Amanda's in the chat? And then it's just going to be a victory. Well, you could use the one that I had for Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it when like I try to like be serious and have like a goofy picture. I like it when we're like. You are in fact a goofy goober. Who is this goofy like goober over right here by chance? Get out of here. Or I feel like a one of those like. Oh, you mean like when that one person asked if you were my mom when you came into the tent? I'm so mad. <laughs> like, yes, I am a mom of a child. However, you are not my child. Um, Speaking of route, just in the room. I'm gonna break everything and let you have the rest of the one. Uh, just in the. with the rest of the pool stuff. You do? You know, I should probably clean my room too. Oh! Side note. Oh no. That's well, not a bad thing. Are you the sure? The reason why I bought you your the nine like the three square three by three. Yeah. What, is it black? It's black. Oh thank God. It was cheaper than buying just the standalone thing. It was fifty bucks. It was on sale. It's the only reason why I Where bought it. Where did you it. go? Walmart. It's the only reason why I bought it. I appreciate it. I was just walking. I was like, no, I'm wondering if I have an agent house. And I looked and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's on sale. Yeah, you're After awesome, I told Amanda. I you I wasn't going to buy it, and I talked about it yourself. Yeah, you're awesome, Amanda. I don't care what no one says about you. <laughs> and that's why I said I don't care what they say about you. You're like a tiger mom. What's that even mean? Hmm? What's that even mean? I don't know. I heard it on John Mulaney. Um... Oh, I'm gonna leave it in my car boat because it's too heavy to get away from this. I can do that. Okay. And a Walmart has been kind of lit, minus the fact that they're like, Oh, by the way, we don't do plastic or paper bags anymore. So you gotta figure it out, idiot. Oh, by the way, we're gonna check your receipt, even though we saw you scan all of the items. Not gonna lie, that's like my number one pet peeve about Walmart is that like, so whenever we go to Walmart, right? There's always like one person on the register is actually checking people out. And I always go to that person because I'm the kind of person who like just, yeah, I just don't like self checkout. Um, the way that I see it is that if I'm doing self checkout, I am basically replacing the job of somebody who it was to do the checkout stuff, right? Like, that's a job that someone should get paid for. Um, you know, adds more jobs and whatever. Why would I, like, have a robot do all my checkout? Why would I do the checkout by myself, right? When, you know, we should have somebody with a job to do that, right? But instead, like, it's like one person watching, like, five registers just to make sure that people aren't stealing. Like, if you don't trust people to steal, which I don't trust the people elevator. not to steal, frankly, um, then maybe you should have an actual cashier. Like, we use cloth bags here too, but like, I I still hate that. Because like, you know, they're the reusable cloth bags, which I get, but like, I use like the plastic and paper bags to like, store like other garbage. Um, or what I do with the paper bags is I just like put my bottle deposits on there. So that way, when I go to, like, the bottle deposit place, I can just, like, put all my, like, bags in and then just, like, take them out. Um, and then recycle them afterwards, you know? Um, instead of just using, like, a giant trash bag or something, you know? Yeah, it's easier to just get plastic bags, yeah. And then, like I said, I use, my, I use the plastic bags for, like, you know, or I used to, anyways, for, like, 
you know, just garbage. Like, whenever we, like, went to Walmart, we would get, like, Walmart plastic bags, and we would just reuse them for, like, our, like, bathroom garbage and whatever. Just made, it just made garbage day just so much easier. Dude, as a cashier years ago, I shouldn't be checking if someone's stealing or not because it's not my... Yeah, exactly. So, like, I would much rather, like, have someone... Like, I would much rather give all my stuff to a cashier and then just be checked out by the cashier um, rather than do self-checkout. Like, if I have, like, one item that's, like, you know, like a Snickers bar or something, then yeah, sure, I'll go to, like, self-checkout. But if I'm going to fucking Walmart, I'm leaving with more than just a Snickers bar. Like, imagine trying to do self-checkout with, like, a 4K television. And then as you leave the self-checkout area, you have some asshole who's, like, in his 60s, Looking to check your receipt after watching you do the self-checkout with the television to make sure that you actually paid for said television. You want to know what our uh, what our biggest problem was? Our biggest problem was people stealing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards from Walmart. That was our that was our biggest problem. It was people stealing stealing cards from Walmart. I knew someone who would do that. Actually, let me rephrase that. I know two people who did that. Alright, I'm gonna... I got value. Yeah, exactly. You know, actually... So, here's what I used to do. So, um... So, a friend of mine had like a weight scale and what we would do is we would go to like the trading card section and we would like use the weight scale on the cards like the card packs because if there was like a rare card in the pack it would actually weigh just slightly more than the other packs and this would pretty much work almost every single time so like if we had like a stack of cards and they weighed like let's say like one ounce for an example right like an ounce was like an average if you had like a 1.5 ounce or something like that, then it was basically guaranteed that there would be a rare card inside there, which usually there always was. Sometimes it would be a little bit off, but for the most part, we would usually get like a rare card or like a, like what were they called, like secrets? Like we would get like secret rares and stuff. But unfortunately, it was still also a gamble because not every single like secret rare was worth like the same amount, you know? Like, we'd get, like, a, a secret rare of, like, a card that's, like, $5. But then you'd have, like, the one secret rare in the set that everybody wants, and it's, like, $100. So there was still kind of a gamble there. But at least you could, wheel, like, whittle out which one was which. Hot in here. Do you want the AC on? Huh? Do you want the AC on? Sure. Okay. I'll take the AC. Here we go again. Heads up, Grave. Like we have a new uninvited guest. Now, <laughs> voice delivery on that. Do, Protect your queen. Yeah, it would work. <laughs> it, it, it would work. That was the when someone told me about that, I was like, bullshit. And then they actually showed me, and it totally works. Like sometimes they wouldn't always be like the secret rares. But it was guaranteed that it was like a rarer card of value like that. Oh, I missed shit. <laughs> bye bye. Look at this ninja guy. Oh, 
Also, that reminds me. Um, I was actually taking a look at some of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards the other day because I eventually want to find a way to get rid of them. And make some money off of them. Alright, where am I supposed to go? I think I'm just supposed to survive this room. Holy shit. Although, we did it for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I think for... I think for Pokemon cards, it actually worked better. But it also... But we mainly used it for Yu-Gi-Oh. With all those dragons. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not selling my blue eyes. It's just more like the cards that I have that I don't really need anymore. I think what I might do is I might, like, I'll take, like, a Sunday or something. Go to my local comic book shop when they're doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament and be like, hey, like, I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. I don't really care about, like, you know good deals or like or, or it's like i don't really care about getting the most out of it but just like as long as it's like something i'll take it i got my 400 dollars shiny charizard chilling on my desk nice i'm assuming that it's in like a super quadruple pro protective case because there's no way that's just chilling on a, on a regular office desk. Oh, hello. gonna kill you you will try excuse me pardon me watch out watch out watch out this should kill all of them Anyways. See, now this totally reminds me of a, like a John Wick level. Also, I saw on uh, Twitter that a John Wick game apparently supposedly started development recently. All right, here we go. Here's another one. How did these two survive that? Yeah, I completely agree. So I'm really hoping that it's actually true and that it's actually being made by a good team. Yo, you know what's crazy? So, because I always have to, like, point this out whenever a company does this right. So, the adaptive triggers on these freaking con on this freaking controller is crazy. But also, like, each gun, like, hit is registering on the controller. So, if I have a burst where it's, like, three, it's, like, every... It's, like, the controller is vibrating in threes. So it actually feels really nice. And that's why my hands are probably shaking as much as they are. Oh, I lost my beat count. Damn.
Where's the door? Door's right there. <laughs> oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. That's what I love about the adapter trigger is that like each gun shoots differently. But like literally like even just playing DMC5 and having the rev feel different is just so nice. I'm gonna lose it. Dang, I lost it. Alright, I'm supposed to go over here. <laughs> bye bye. Great. Use the elevator. Okay. <laughs> Look at him just standing there, so emotionless. I could not imagine playing this without the full auto update. Uh oh. Great. We got some company. Yes, we do. Give me like one second for them to all load in. What? They just straight up did not care. Dude, the lighting in this is so cool. Cause like you can still see like when all the bullets are being shot. Yes, you will. Bullshit. Where'd you go? I lost my beat count again. Oh, that was an interesting angle to cut to, okay. Not too bad. I haven't bought a single one of these skills. I'm gonna wait. Big Wushin's HQ. Love Rodan Summon and Bayo 3. Yeah, no, the Rodan Summon is... Excuse me. It is uh, pretty good. Best summon in the game, for sure. Yeah, Rodan summon is very OP. It is like, it is so unfair how overpowered that, that summon is. Yeah, fuck, oh, okay. Oh, hello. Ow. I don't know why, but this reminds me of that one boss in Shadow the Hedgehog, like the gun trooper thing. I'm just waiting for the... Oh god, oh god! Oh no, Grave, no! Ugh. 
I'm back, baby. I was hoping I was hoping for the the bazooka the bazooka demolition shot. All right, let's try this again. I think it would have been faster if I actually went to the, uh, into fury mode. Yeah, they reached that far. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was really hoping that that would kill him, but it didn't. Where's the door? Yeah, here you are. Also, if y'all want to know what button I'm actually using to, or what finger I'm actually using to shoot, I'm using my ring Watch finger out. to shoot. Upper level. So I'm not even using like, you know, like the trigger finger to shoot. I'm using my ring finger. For some reason, I don't know why, that just feels more comfortable. But I think it's also cramping up my hand a little bit faster. I don't know why, for some reason, um, middle finger just did not feel right. Because now I swapped it to my middle finger and now it feels weird. Alright, I think the door opened. It did not. Oh my god, why did this door not open yet? And I lost my beat count. Great. Oh, bye. Oh, oh. no, but bye. Okay, come on, open up. What? Oh. The hell was this guy doing? He was just standing there. Ruined my beat count for nothing. Great, watch out. Okay. There's a rocket for you. And there's a rocket for you. And here's a rocket for you. Oh, hi. There's another one behind me. What? Oh, there's another one. Oh my god, what? Everybody get a rocket!
Oh my god, hold up. Wub, 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 wub. Oh my god, come on! Great, the doors! Thank you. Oh, hi. Alright, let me... Oh, shit, hold up. Let me just, uh, snap your neck real fast. Remember, kids... My stream rating is PG-13. Technically. I think I'm, I'm at a different angle. Yep, I messed up. Dang it. It was a different angle. Ow. Whoa. Y'all need to chill out. Uh, shoot, shoot a rocket. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even know that someone shot a rocket, Ben. Get over here. Ugh. All right, and this is totally where a boss is. This one's green. He's like the Hulk. Hulk smash, am I right? I think it even has the same boss music. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. That was not worth it. Rocket. You have different moves, okay. Just stay there, let me milk damage off ya. Going to fury mode again. Oh my god! Ha 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 ha! Bye bye. And now he's dead. <laughs> what a way! What a way to finish that level. Ugh. Let me see what else I can do. Fury time. What was the one that I wanted? I wanted this one.
Because then I eventually want to get this skill. Or no, it was this skill. Because that looks sick. Ugh. I forgot who it was. I think it was Amanda. Asked me if I would ever consider going back to college and getting another degree. But not in like film, but like a master's in like teaching or something. And I was like, no, thank you. Absolutely not. We're on stage 23. Holy shit. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Purple Void 420 Blazing. Thank you so much for following. Welcome in. Everyone's asking me that, and I don't know what to answer. So what's this game about? Okay. Let me finish my protein bar first. So you are this guy. His name is Beyond the Grave. He doesn't speak. He has two guns and a coffin that's basically Pandora's box. And you are trying to stop this company called Seed. And your objective is to just shoot the shit out of everything. If it moves, shoot it. See these guys? They move. I'm gonna shoot them. See that guy? I shot him. You can also shoot things that don't move. Like, look at this. Fuck these things in particular. They don't move, but they're in my way. And they still add towards the beat count. So I'm still gonna shoot them. Everything that moves and doesn't move, I need to kill. But it's actually really fun. So, ideally, you want to just hit anything and everything all the time. So, if your beat count, if you go a certain amount of time without hitting anything, your beat count will drop to zero and you got to start over. But the higher the beat count you have, the more um, points of your score you get at the end. I was about to say, there is another, there are another couple guys in here, are there? Yeah, like right there. My beat count just dropped because I didn't kill him fast enough. Where the hell? Oh my god, there is another one. Come on. Jerk. Reap. There's the exit. A lot of bullets for humans. Um. Nah, I think they're all humans. <laughs> this is basically like a style of game that I would classify as a shoot 'em up. The series itself is actually called Gungrave. This is their latest title, um, Gungrave Gore. Um, but the other Gungrave games are on uh, PlayStation 2, and there's one VR game. But um, we started this game back in January. And by start, I mean I played it for like four to five hours for a single day. And then I had other projects that I had to do, like Hi-Fi Rush. And now I'm back. <laughs> now, I'm ba now we're back playing Gungrave. So I can finish this up before tackling other projects. I like PS1 Spider-Man. Yo, I also love PS1 Spider-Man. PS1 Spider-Man was actually one of the first games I ever played, but I didn't get it on PS1, I got it on PC. Brave, there are more of them coming. I'm getting to it, woman. Just hold your horses. Oh my god, so many stairs. 
I want to find whoever invented the stairs and push all these people down these stairs just to show them how stupid stairs are. Rocket. Bye-bye. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Hold up. Oh, door's open. Haha, <laughs> suckers. This door is not open. Shit. Let me... Nope! B count's still good. Yo, Bacon! What's going on, Bacon? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, wait, I still have my B count. Bet, 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 bet. Oh, let me. Bye bye. Alright, let me get to the end of where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Castle. Ooh, nice. First video game I ever played was Marvel 2 on PlayStation 2. And that's what started everything. Oh, shoot. Let me get another one of these. Capcom versus Marvel. That is the first time I've ever heard anybody refer to it as Capcom versus Marvel. Even though that's technically right, it still sounds weird. I almost just dodged right into that rocket. No, my B count! All right, they should all be lined up. I also like Capcom more, to be fair. And that's why I'm a part of their creators program. Ha <laughs> ha. Great, the doors. I was about to say, yeah, the door is totally open. my B count again. Oh my god. This game looks like DMC without the- it basically, it's like DMC 2. Also, not really. Like, I describe it as a uh, shoot 'em up. Like narrow corridors, um, fun shooting mechanics, stylish character with good hair. Orange Justice. Great. Do I have stuff to shoot? Damn it, I don't. Yoink. Gotta, gotta hit him with the good old orange justice. Yo, look at that man's jawline. Oh, we got ourselves a boss battle. You are a nuisance, Grave. Thank you. A waste of my precious time. But it appears my pathetic underlings were unable to exterminate you. Such a disappointment. <laughs> or 
maybe not. You're right, Reaping. Alright, let's do this. Which but replace W with B. Yo, I can do that too. Yo, quit your yapping. I totally thought I missed for a second. And she tripped. <laughs> and she's dead. An even more fabulous dress from your skin. Oh. Oh, the boss fight isn't over. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. Bang, bang. Ah! enough to kill them. And here comes the melt. Oh God. God! I did not realize that there was an edge there. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> I didn't realize there was an edge there. Shit. Looks like the queen's gonna have to get her favorite dress bloody. That's, act that's actually really depressing. I thought I was doing so well. Noted. Super Mario 64 or Smash 64? Awesome. Oh, those are Vampire and Static. Hope y'all are doing well. Okay, note to self. There is an edge there. All right. I wonder if I can combine these two. I cannot. Ah, oh, come on. Soul Caliber? Unbelievable. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, no more memes, only violence.
There we go. She's almost dead! <laughs> oh no, I didn't... Brave, what are you doing? Oh god. Oh, you... Oh my god. No! 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 I refuse! Get out of here! <laughs> no! Is it gonna immediately cut to the me? Oh, I was about to say if immediately cut to the da 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 da. That would have been hilarious. Re2 on PS1. It's the first copy. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Assassin's Creed Mirage, yeah. Although I haven't had faith in Assassin's Creed since Black Flag. I don't have, um, yeah, I'm gonna need to do that. So now we're in Singapore, apparently. Yeah, y'all know my hype was Spider-Man. <laughs> I totally forgot how many chapters there were in Gun Grave. Is coming back to normal. How many stages in Gun Grave Gore? There's 31. Hey, what's going on? Is everything okay? Not sure. Something weird is happening with Mika. Oh yeah, Spider-Man 2 looks so good. Unfortunately, the Spider-Man community always has something to complain about with it, though. Actually, the seed crystallization process has somehow stopped. But then this weird realignment of seed fragments has started. But, uh, I am so ready for Bully Urenthal. Not sure what to think. Did I say Bully Urenthal? I meant Bully Lowenthal. He's gonna put some dirt in your eye. And turn into Sasuke Uchiha. I, I can feel her. I can feel Mika in my head. Like some <clears throat> connection. She's inside of me. Part of me. See that? That strange flash? No, but I felt something. Something extraordinary. 
What happened? Woo! That was big for sure. I forgot what the title of the ga game was, but it was like that um see? that souls like like samurai ninja looking game. That looked really cool. Judging by these readings, it seems like the seed crystals realigned within Nika's body. That caused them to resonate and my favorite part of the Spider-Man 2 trailer, honestly, was when Peter, like, swung in and saved that guy. And then he landed and he just shoved him into the ground. And Miles was looking at him like, what the fuck, Peter? Phantom Blade, yes. Yeah, that looked good. Ugh. Pick your best men. Now, go. It's like, okay. Bye bye. The whole city block ravaged. Everything is covered with seed, as if a massive blast happened. What the hell could cause this? We know almost everything there is to know about seed. One thing we never had direct experience with is the seed core. The source of seed. Feels like Resident Evil Village. Maybe the seed core we saw in Scumland has been shipped here in Singapore. Toronti. Well, he is Gumpo's right hand and Raven Clan boss in Singapore. Oh. He might expand operations here. It does make sense. It's Mika. She's resonating again. Stop the plane! Now! Turn back! Quick! Yes, sir. Time to wake Grave up. We can't get any closer than this. He's taking on Lizard alone, and then the Bully Maguire music started playing. No, he's mine. Are you sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Wah 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 I love, I love the way that Grave poses when he jumps. He's like, hey, hey. He's, he's like Beautiful Joe. It's like a mixture of Beautiful Joe and Dante. He's like, yeah. I saw that shit you did. Yeah, you did. That, that little meme that I did is now, I think, in my top five videos on YouTube. <laughs> Unless it had like a big spike again. Am I able to jump over this? Probably not. Oh, I see. Never mind. Hold up. Let me. Gungrave got the Double May Cry vibe, it really does. Honestly, it's really fun. I'd recommend it. I also want to maybe give the uh, PS2 Gungrave a try as well. Alright, let me... I gotta figure out where this exit is now. It's in there. Nope, that's not where it is. Oh my god, come here. Great, watch out. Upper level. Actually, where am I supposed to go? I'll just kill all these guys first then. Great, watch out for rocket. 
I will watch out. There we go. My friend, he did the substance. We got a <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there we go. Take care of you real fast. Deflect the rocket. Okay, this place did a- Oh, come on! I like just lost the B count. I killed these guys, it's just show me where to go next. Yep, there we go. And I lost my B count again, whatever. Hey, 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 yo, oh, take it easy. Yeah, no, I love those meme videos. But as soon as I saw that, I was like, I was like watching the trailer again, and I was like, this would be a perfect. This would be a perfect point to put in the Bully McGuire music. And it paid off. test combos after beating this game there aren't really combos honestly it's just like like there are different moves that i can do but it's just more like shoot everything it's like a um stylish rail shooter honestly there are different melee moves that i could do but i just don't really buy them because i just kind of enjoy this part of the combat just shooting everything. Oh my god. Oh, I can't be in here. Shit, whatever. Alright, now's a good time to use this. I don't know where those doors are. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, I see how it is.
All right, let me do this. There we go. Grave, you need to jump down. Jump down? From where? Uh, Dante? <laughs> For sure, Dante. Spider-Man Web of Shadows 2 looking nutty. Oh, damn right. There we go. See, actually, if y'all have seen the DMC anime, and you know that, like, in the anime, Dante just, like, non-stop shoots his guns, this is basically Dante, but in the DMC anime. Gungrave is just Dante if he just only used his guns. Which, in the anime, he does only use his guns. Someone asked me if uh, one of the characters had witch time. It was like the girl character. And technically Grave has witch time. Amazing. Well, I think this is basically like, kind of like Trigon in a way. I saw like a video I said the other day that basically described it like that. What? It was like something Trigon related. Something head. about Trigon has something to do with Gungrave. Oh my god. How? Alright. Thank you. Trigun was getting a game, but it turned into gun grips. Ah, oh, okay, I actually didn't. Uh, that's probably what it was then. There we go. Oh, God. Get this. I kind of want to try gun instead. I understand that. Okay. 
Here we go. Should be good. Another boss arena? Maybe? See for the skill that I want. Maybe I should actually get these though. Now that I'm using these a lot more. Stage 25. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven stages left. Wow. How's his back not hurting? Because he's a strong boy. He does all of his squats and stuff. He probably does squats with, with the grave. Man's got to have... Like, you see, like, his lats and his shoulders. Like, nah, man's does a lot of back work. With the haircut, he's unstoppable. Exactly. Oh my god. Ugh. There we go. I don't need to kill that guy, I just wanted to. Oh my god. I was trying to experiment with stuff. What was that, uh... What was that one move that I got? Oh, it was X. Oh, hi. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take the low ground, which is very bad, but what, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, he skipped leg day. He did. He has a strong back, but tiny legs. Let me get this. Oh my god. up to the wall. Alright, here we go.
here. Okay, so the door's right there. I love this ability. Lose my B count. Come on. Drop kick. I like the prequel trilogy now. You know, I was seeing some footage the other day of, um, the Assassin's Creed Unity parkour stuff. It actually has some really good parkour elements in there that make me want to try to play it. So maybe one of these days when I get like PlayStation Premium, I'll go through some of the Assassin's Creed games. Best parkour and best sword fighting. You had me at best parkour. The best sword fighting is the bonus. Oh my god. second Ugh. oh shoot all right fine that's how you want to be Also, the music in this is so fucking sick. Don't hit that guy on the bottom. It hit the guy on the bottom. Oh, I lost my B count. Whatever. Cool area, Steam. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember the Syndicate was the steampunk era. It's co-op. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I remember Unity being advertised as having co-op and stuff. Alright, here we go. Ugh! Excuse me, out of the way, watch out. Watch it. Hey! 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 Back off! I'm just gonna keep rolling backwards until I'm just put against a wall. I'm now gonna be put against the wall. Ah, there we go. 
I messed up. I should have just went right in here. <laughs> I love orange chest to sing during that. I know that there's a more powerful version of that move, but I just really like the way this one looks. <laughs> See a jump. Splitting monstrosity. Oh. Hello. Oh, God. All right, freeze! Everybody clap your hands. I just love how I can just stand there and just shoot and just absolutely get away with it. Nope. This looks so cool, actually. <laughs> and then freeze! He's dead! Too predictable, Gungrave. <laughs> you are now too predictable. I know exactly what you're doing. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. So we have six stages left. 